Good morning. Hello. Today, I'm going to share um, some revelations that God gave me about the host of heaven and how to send them out, why you can send them out, and sending them out. So I'm going to wait a few minutes until um, some of you get on here. I'll just give you a minute or two. Okay. <laughs> There's four of you on right now, six of you. So I'm going to start. Um, I am going to share with you some really cool revelations that God gave me about angels last night. He usually talks to me in the early morning when I just get up. It's really cool, and I, I, I just look forward to the morning. He wakes me up and talks to me every morning. But this morning he told me, I didn't even ask him. He, he said, do you know why, we, why you send the angels out? And of course, when God asks you a question, you always say, why? Because you want his answer. So I, I said, why? And he said, to collect the harvest. I thought, wow. He goes, he reminded me of in the scripture, it said that he's going to send the angels out to collect the harvest at end times. And he says that we're created in his image and his likeness, and we're to do what he does. And we're to send the angels out to get the harvest. But oftentimes, we look past that and we think the harvest uh, uh, okay the, you know getting people saved but that's not what he was talking about to me he was saying the harvest of what the blood of Jesus paid for you to have I mean how awesome is that so we are supposed to send the host of heaven out to get the harvest of what the seed of Jesus dying and his blood and his life what he paid for for us to have so we should have uh, prosperity, health, wholeness, healing, walking in supernatural power, and everything that the blood of Jesus paid for us to have is the harvest of Jesus. And we're sent the angels out to get that harvest. In other words, he paid for us, he paid for us to walk in divine health, wholeness, and healing. By the stripes of Jesus, we have been healed. So if you're not healed, then you need to send the angel out, the angels, the hosts of heaven out to get your harvest. Or actually, it's Jesus' harvest. Because by the stripes of Jesus, we have been healed. He paid for it. He was whipped uh, 39 times so that we would receive healing. But like everything else that God gives us, the devil tries to keep it from us. God never withholds healing. Healing is always now. It's always for you. It's always now. But the person that holds it back is the devil. He keeps your healing from you. So he sent the hosts of heaven out to get the harvest that Jesus paid for you to have. The stripes of Jesus, the wounds on his back, he carried every sickness and every disease for you. Galatians 3.13, he redeemed you from the curse of the law of sickness, disease, poverty, lack, fear, and all that. So that is Jesus' harvest. And you sent out the angels to get Jesus' harvest for you. So you would say, go to the uh, host of heaven, um, according to the word of God, by the stripes of Jesus, I have been healed. So I agree with the word of God. I take the testimony of that word and I send you out. You hearken to the voice of the word. I send you out to the body parts warehouse in heaven to get the body parts that I need to be replaced or to bring me what I need to, to replace and to be healed, to receive the harvest that Jesus sent, that Jesus paid for me to have not go. So that was really an exciting revelation is we are to send the angels out to get a harvest of everything the blood of Jesus paid for us to have. And then the other revelation that he gave me this morning was, uh, oops, let me see here. Um, to get the harvest, okay, prosperity. Oh, and he says, don't be afraid to send your angels out after the same thing every day. He says, when you go to school and the teacher gives you an assignment, sometimes it takes you weeks or months to complete the assignment that the teacher gave you. He says the angels are like that. They have to put people in certain positions. They have to set up circumstances. They has, have to orchestrate some stuff. So don't be afraid to keep sending them out to get the same thing, to get the same thing. And don't forget to thank them. And don't forget to thank the Father for giving you that. And he also said that faith is our, our servant and our angels are our servants. They were created to minister to us and so they are our servants so you send them out just like you would a servant you tell them what to do uh, whether it's uh, uh, everything you set your hands to do prospers so he brings you business or whether it's the wealth of the wicked laid up for you whatever it is you send them out because they're 
the thing there what does the job that the Word of God is but you have to speak it you have to say it out loud and you have to send them out to do a job and one of the things that I'm discovering lately when I send my hosts out I, I go out God tells me to go out every morning and take a picture of my host uh, because they're all around there and since I've been taking pictures I have my third book completed and I got to do the write-up in it and I have enough pictures for four, book four and five but anyway when you send your hosts out you will notice that the sky is full of your hosts but when you send them back if you send them out you turn your back and I look five ten seconds later the sky is clear there's no hosts in the sky not even clouds in the sky it's so cool it's so amazing it's so much fun so you know even if somebody isn't a Christian and doesn't believe everybody believes in angels and it is these books are so cool because they they show you that you can't even argue with these pictures that there when you take pictures of the host hidden in the sky that they can actually see the outline and the eyes and everything it is so cool I love doing this I'm gonna have a whole series oh God told me to do a series this way uh, book number three is going to be about a mixture of all declarations in the courts of heaven and how to take Satan then to court and demons that are accusing you how to take them to court and win but it's also going to be uh, about book four is going to be five six seven whatever each book is going to be about a subject of declarations for example like book four might be on on uh, healing how to send your angels out declarations to send your angels out to get healing and most of my angel books are about 45 pages long and uh, about five of them are you know five six seven of them are you know what I do and follow me and about the author stuff but so you'll have at least 30 declarations on that one subject if the book is about healing you're going to have 30 or so pictures about the host of heaven and under each picture will be a declaration on what to say to your hosts of heaven to send them out to get your healing so you can have a different one for every day or you can repeat whatever ones minister to you but after this third book every book as far as I know right now what God told me will be about a specific subject and specific directions and declarations to send your angels out to go and to get your harvest so I'm really excited about that I have um, definite direction from God on that because a lot of people ask me you know what do you say to your angels and that was my question God you know if I keep sending them out to do the same thing every day I, I need more there's more I can talk to them all day I can send them out you know they work for me they're non-stop tired you know it's like having a computer uh, and, but it's the most high God's servants that sent to work for us so each of these books is going to have specific subjects and I don't know which subject I'm going to do first. You know, I'm going to do, you know, subjects on how to have peace, um, how to send your angels out to cause you to have peace, uh, healing, of course, prosperity, your business and ministry to prosper, and so on. So each book after number three, for four on, is going to be specific. Uh, one of the books is going to be all about the supernatural encounters that I experienced um, with Jesus, with the angels. Uh, with demons and so on supernatural encounters and experiences um, those experiences a lot of them are already in some of my books like uh, raising the dead supernatural wine and other normal Christian activities or experiences and also um, I think that's the only book it's in anyway but I'll be adding more and more experiences like uh, the time I danced with Jesus and just really cool fun awesome stuff but anyway I just wanted to share with you and was excited to share with you those revelations that you can use yourself and apply to yourself um, to get the things, the harvest that Jesus' blood paid for you to have. So do me a favor, share this video if you're blessed by it with your friends, comment on it, like on it, and get my books. And if you get Kindle Unlimited, all my books are free. You get all my books. I have 37 or 38 now that I've written, 39 maybe, something like that or more. Uh, anyway, have a blessed day. And I love talking to you all. I love reading your comments and everything. I'm driving now, so I can't, I can't respond to your comments. I'll have to do that later. I'm on my way to exercise and do my laundry. The angels brought me in a whole bunch of clothing yesterday that I was praying for and speaking for. They put me in the right place at the right time and gave me, the, God provided the money for me to do it. 
So, yay! So I'm going to wash all that clothing. So, anyway, love you all. My website is robinbremer.net. Check out all my books on Amazon. Check out my videos and stuff and share. And I'll talk to you later.